Louis, your thoughts after the game? Tired. Um, obviously, it was a good shift for the boys. Um, you never expect to obviously lose a man um, kind of fairly early in the game. And then it was just kind of digging deep. Um, had kind of backs against the wall, but as I say, we kind of changed our game plan slightly in terms of our pressing. We had to then be patient and go on when it was when it was on to go on at the right times. And no point in just going and getting picked off. As, but as I say, everyone in the team worked very hard and um, we've managed to obviously get something for the game, which is which is important. Um, we didn't let them get the victory. Um, it keeps it obviously similar in terms of points. Um, going into the game, we've obviously expected to win um, from, from our own camp. We, we were fully confident that we would win. But as I say, um, in the end, I think um, a, a point's um, a fair result and we'll just need to concentrate next week now. What, if anything, did you see of the challenge involving Charlie? Yeah, obviously Charlie's kicked the boy to, to stop him. I don't know if it was intentional. I know Charlie's a, a great great guy and he's never really malice like that, you know. So, um, but I think this this day and age, it's kind of the rules. I don't know exactly specific rules and, and what is a, a straight red or whatever. I and mean, for my point of view, I thought it was a yellow. Um, the ref's seen it differently. So as I say, I've not really seen it back, but just that was my initial thoughts on it. I thought it was a yellow, but. As I say, the, the rules and the refs, and they, they, they know exactly what, what's ahead and what's not, so you need to just kind of take it in the chin. Well, we, we hope so anyway, but uh, I think it got a little bit feisty around that time, is that fair to say? It got a bit just kind of bit of a powder keg? Yeah, I think, obviously, doing a lot of running. Um, both both teams are doing a lot of running. A bit of tiredness, maybe it's a little bit of tiredness, it's a little bit of fatigue it's causing, kind of maybe a, your half set and kind of tackles and just leaving a little bit on them. So, as I say, but... Um, not really can I look too much into that. Um, I, th I thought the game was was quite interesting in terms of I had a lot to offer. I had sending off goals um, and a lot of desire and heart put in by both teams. And as I say, the, the point in the end was probably a fair result. Second half, you'd only seem to kind of want to take the game by the scruff of the neck. Somebody put something in your water in the second half? Yeah, a wee bit like Space Jam. Um, the, the special water. No, as I say, it's just about like the the management team is speaking to every player and just saying it's like you have to give everything. Um, I, I try and do that every week anyway. Um, and more importantly, obviously, when you've got 11 men, you can afford to kind of drift and get in the positions. But when it's your men down 10 and then 9, it's just about digging deep and just running yourself into the ground for the team. And I've done that um, today and other boys have done that as well. And it just shows with the hard work and, and commitment that we managed to dig deep and get something from the game um, with, with, with the equaliser. And running into the channels, how much did that open up space for teammates to get into? Yeah, it's just about dragging players at that position, people that um, positions that are obviously they're not natural. You're trying to drag centre halves out, centre midfielder, drag them out to create pockets for for others, um, and it's a bit unselfish. But as I say, when it's when it's hard like that, you, and, and you're kind of backs against the rope, you need to do runs like that and be unselfish for the team. And as I say, just I'm delighted to obviously. Um, for the team to get the equaliser and, and get a point from the game. And important because it keeps us within touching distance as well? Yeah, obviously you don't expect to get the man sent off so early, um, fairly early in the game and as I say, um, when we, we went 1-0 down it's, it's obviously got a mountain to climb and they've got an extra man and um, they maybe get a bit of momentum in the game and it was just about trying to kind of dig in, as I say, just that's all we kept kind of shouting for the side and just kind of keep working, keep working, and everybody's trying to motivate each other, run about, try to get everybody to keep going. And cause it's very easy, obviously, when you're tired to maybe switch off, lose a runner. Um, but everybody was was helping each other out, run about them. And as I say, it was just it was important we got something from the game. And then when we got the equaliser, I felt we had a good few chances to to maybe even nick the the, the win. And um, big Mark Dunnins obviously get the, the shot off the bar, and uh, which was unlucky. And a couple other kind of ones, the ball didn't quite fall for us. Um, so maybe in another day we maybe have even got the, the three points, but as I say, the hard work both teams put in and the kind of spectacle they put on, I think a point is a fair result. And just finally on that point, we go again next week, can we can we go and get three points? Yeah, that's as I say, even before this game we were going in with full intention of, of getting the three points and that will be no different next week and boys will rest up, we'll have full focus in, in Montrose next week and it's all about going there and getting the three points. Louis, well played today and as always, thanks Thank for your you. time. Great. Cheers, Frank.